Hey y'all, what's up? I'm here for Love and Hip Hop New York Season 7, The Reunion Part 2. Thank God this shit is over with because this season was exasperating. I don't even know if I'm really that hyped for, you know, Atlanta to come back to be quite honest because I wasn't impressed with the last season of that shit either. So, I mean, whatever, you know? <laughs> so, uh, we picked it up right where we left off from last week. You know, the commotion going on stage with Yandy, Samantha, and... Kim and Judy and all them. So some girl yanked Samantha from behind, you know, yanked Samantha's hair from behind. And I mean, she yanked, like Samantha's head literally went back or whatever. And I think I told you guys last week that it was Yandy's sister who did that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then it looked like some dude came on the stage or whatever trying to get at Samantha. I'm like, what the fuck is you doing jumping into a woman's business? Okay, <laughs> like what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, um, that was just like some bitch shit to me for real. But anyway, so, uh, pretty much the whole, uh, set has to go on lockdown and everything. Um, they bring Yandy, Samantha, and Erica back out, but the rest of the cast are in, you know, their dressing rooms and everything. They just bring those three out, three out so they can finish that segment in peace, you know, with the audience and everything. So, um... Samantha, she want to know who the fuck hit her or whatever. And Yandy sitting up here acting like boo boo the fool, acting clueless like she always do, acting like she don't know who the fuck did it. And so Erica, she like, well, no, I'm sorry, before that. They run the tape back on Yandy's ass. You know what I'm saying? Where the com When the commotion was going on on stage or whatever. And Yandy was like, Keisha just. Like she, kept, like, she kept on saying Keisha, which indicates she knows who the fuck it was. You know what I'm saying? And then also, the girl Keisha that, I guess, you know, Yandy's sister, she was like, you know, um, don't come for my sister when security was holding her and everything. So, Yandy, you know who the fuck that was. Stop perpetrating like you don't, okay? So, anyways, um, see, I told y'all earlier this season, I knew it was a reason why... I didn't like Yandy when she first came up here when Chrissy and Jim Jones was still up here. But no, I gave her a chance once they got off the show. And I, you know, in last season, I kind of saw some shit with her again that made me kind of be like, oh, she's starting to kind of show me a little bit why I didn't like her when she first came up here. But this season definitely took the coffin. See, you go with your first instinct about a motherfucker not instinct instinct okay that's past the level of instinct okay about um your first notion of somebody because yandy is real stank okay so <laughs> anyways um so erica she's like you know you claim you love these kids so much and everything but you know, um, you sitting up here and acting like you don't know who just hit Lil Mendeecee's mother and all this other stuff. And, um, Yandy, she trying to deflect from the situation talking about some, you know, well, let's talk about the kids and da 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 Like, Yandy girl, <laughs> Yandy, you is full of shit. You are full of shit, okay? So anyways, um... Samantha is like, own up to it. You had somebody come up here to fight me and da 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 and everything. And so, you know, um, they, uh, I think Nina had asked, you know, do, uh, they think that Yandy knew about, uh, Kim Bella coming to Lil' Mendeecee's party and everything. You know, Samantha believes that Yandy, um, um, had Kim Bella come there and all this other stuff like she knew. Yandy still lying and everything, saying that she found out afterwards that Kim Bella was there. Uh, she claims that I guess Erica and Kim Bella got mutual friends or something like that. And that's how, you know, um, Kim Bella found out or whatever. But then they played some audio back on Yandy's ass and everything. I said, ooh, Mona girl, you just selling Yandy out, ain't you? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I was like, well, damn. So they played some audio back or whatever and pretty much... Judy was on the phone with Kim Bella and everything and then I think you know Judy had gave Yandy the phone or whatever this that and the third and they was talking like as if Yandy had knew beforehand that Kim Bella was there you know what I'm saying and so uh Nina calls her out she says well you know it seemed like she was like well you said that you um didn't know till until afterwards but now um 
No, she was like that. It seemed you you said originally that you didn't know until afterwards, and now it seemed like you knew minutes before and everything. And you know, um, Yandy was like, "Well, yeah, I did talk to her, or whatever." This then third, you know, like minutes before, da da da, and all this other stuff. Yandy, she denying that Kim Bella was there, you know, ready to rumble. Yeah, okay. So, anyways, uh. Yandy is like, you know, those are Kim Bella's nephews and all this other stuff. So she wanted to see them and da 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 and everything. And you know, um, Samantha is like, those are not Kim Bella's nephews. That's my son and Erica's son. You know what I'm saying? And um Nina asks, you know, what is it gonna take for the kids, you know, to get together and all this other stuff? And you know, Samantha is like, Man, DC's is gonna have to figure this shit out because these are his kids and everything. And I'm just like, no, because Man, DC's is not, he's not here. He's in jail. You know what I'm saying? So what the fuck can he really do from jail? Mind you, he's gonna be locked up for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, y'all need to get this shit together. Or y'all need to get a middleman in this shit you know what i'm saying that's cool with both sides of this shit to figure this shit out because it's just i'm just sick of this whole storyline i'm sick of all y'all at this point you know what i'm saying so anyways um samantha is saying that you know yandy is trying to act like she's both the mother and the father and she's not you know like she needs to stay in her place and all this other stuff yandy is like uh the, your problem is is that you know men DCs don't like you and all this other stuff and Samantha like bitch what is your marriage license and you know uh Nina asks you know well in the eyes of the law are you married to men DCs Andy and she's like I'm married to men DCs Erica she interjects and she's like in the eyes of the law and Yandy is like you know um who you married to and all this other stuff blah 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 and you know uh she keeps on saying how papers don't matter and how she secures the bag and protects the bag and blah 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 and the audience clapping like she done really said some brilliant shit and everything uh She's making claims about both of them asking for child support. They're both like that they didn't they never asked for child support and all this other stuff. And you know, uh her and uh Yandy and Erica start going back and forth about what men DCs gave them, you know, cars and jewelry and whatever else. I'm just like This is not about the kids. This is not about, like what the fuck does men DCs buying you new teeth or buying you this or buying you that? have to do with anything like oh my god I'm, I'm 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 sick of them i'm sick of them pretty much they all was talking shit backstage once it was all said and done so moving on from that because i'm just i'm tired <laughs> okay so we get uh bianca drew and scott we get their storyline so bianca says that she feels like their drew was easy uh prey to play with that's why she did what she did scott feels like that you know um Bianca and Drew led each other on but that Bianca took it too far and you know uh she was sitting up here talking about stealing somebody's man and you know um that's not something that she would do and everything and Bianca like well that's not that maybe that's not something that you would do but you might get passed around and everything and you know uh Scott like you got that from Drew and you know Bianca like yeah your man said it on national TV that you get passed around and I was like <laughs> Bianca got a point, you know, Drew did, you know, put, try to pull your whole card on national TV, like, you know what I'm saying, and then Sky gonna sit up here and talk about something, but I forgave him for everything, like, I don't even want to talk about this, like, I, I really don't, like, so anyways, um, cause Sky's just so fucking dumb, she's so naive, like, I mean, it's just, so anyways, you know, uh, Drew thought he didn't lead Bianca on or whatever this, that, and the third. And, you know, Nina asked, you know, Remy, her opinion. Remy. <laughs> y'all know, y'all already know why I did this shit, but I'm not even going, you know, talk about it. I've been wanting to talk about it, but I was trying to wait to see if Nikki was going to say something. But I don't know. I don't think she's going to say anything. But anyways, back to the task at hand here. So Remy, she like, you know, would you have set that laptop on um, Bianca's ass if Sky was there? And then Drew looking all dumb in the face and shaking his head no. And Remy like, ex and Remy, she's like, exactly. 
anything that you won't do in front of your girl, you don't need to be doing, period. It's, you know, considered inappropriate and everything. And so, you know, Nina asked Cardi her opinion. And Cardi was like, you know, well, you know, she my friend and everything. And she knows that that was going to bring her bad karma. And, you know, uh, if she willing to do that, then go ahead, friend. And she was like, you know, I mean, uh... In the Bible, it says that you're not supposed to mess with, you know, a married person, not a person that's in a relationship. Okay, yeah, the Bible do say that. That don't make the shit right, though, Cardi. Like, come the fuck on. So, anyways, um... Oh, Sky says that she has some shirts called, uh, Don't Feed the Birds. Like, that's some bird shit right there, but okay, because that, that's just so fucking lame. But, anyways, uh... So, Bianca, because, you know, Nina, she asked Bianca what's her opinion about shirts and, and all this other stuff. And, you know, Bianca, she throws money on Sky, talking about some, this is how you feed the birds and everything. And Sky's like, oh, thank you, you know, taking the money or whatever. I said, yeah, girl, go ahead and pay uh, that uh, Dominion bill. <laughs> oh, my God, child. Let me stop. Let me stop. Uh, but anyway, so, um... They shot her, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Sky and Drewski, they shot, um, a music video for, um, his song, uh, Make It Official or whatever the shit is called or whatever. It's just, whatever. He proposes to her and, you know, one of my subscribers, I think, told me last week about, you know, um, them being engaged or whatever, this, then, third. I really don't give a damn. Who cares? <laughs> moving on from that y'all when I tell y'all I'm so over this shit so anyways moving on from that we get the Gwen and team and um self he says that both Mariah Lynn and uh Major Galore are both you know first ladies of you know the Gwen and label or whatever and uh Mariah says that she was always gonna sign with you know um DJ self because you know she's always been loyal to him and he's always been loyal to her this day and the third and everything and she says that her problem wasn't really with major it was with self for not introducing them prior to or whatever so you know uh self is you know self he explains that he met major in the strip club or whatever and you know that's how he found out about her singing cardi she interjects and is like um actually i hooked y'all up you know and uh Cardi is like, yeah, and, you know, you fucked her, too, and everything. And Self is like, I didn't fuck her. And, you know, Cardi is like, oh, so I'm lying? So I'm lying? I'm just like, Cardi. Cardi. Sit the fuck down somewhere. Like, like, I mean, I just saw, you know, recently on the, well, or actually today on the blogs that she signed some multi-million deal with uh atlantic records or something like that so i guess that's like part of the reason why she's you know getting off the show and everything but girl you just made yourself look so bad these last two parts you know these were well, these two parts um to this reunion like you know what i'm saying but anyways so um major says that they both you know were at a club or whatever um face to face and cardi didn't do shit and you know cardi is like you pussy so stop trying to play like you tough you know what i'm saying next thing you know hennessy she runs her little ass up on the stage you know uh hitting major galore and everything and cardi she tries to follow up and i'm just like i just like cardi like you already worry so much about what people have to say about you it's like now look what you doing now you giving people more of a reason you giving them more ammo to talk shit about you you know what i'm saying and it's like i mean i hope that she hasn't really put a bad taste in people's mouths but i mean for what i've seen like on the blogs or whatever like people commenting and stuff it kind of seemed like she already has you know what i'm saying and i hope this doesn't her behavior on here doesn't hinder her from doing you know future you know um things or whatever you know besides the music that she might want to do because she just really made herself look bad up here she really did but anyway so you know uh 
Cardi and Hennessy, they're backstage or whatever. And, she, you know, Cardi is explaining that her and Major were good friends at one point or whatever. And they used to dance together. But, you know, uh, Major was talking shit about her right in front of Hennessy and everything. And, you know, that shit wasn't going flat. So we find out that DJ Self and Cisco are going to be working together for, you know, the whole uh, Gwenin entertainment shit. And I'm just like, you know, uh, Rich, he seemed like he got his feelings a little bit when they panned the camera on him. I'm just like, and I'm with everybody else. So you're not going to get mad at Self for working with uh, Cisco now that you have a problem with him. Because remember, you said, anybody that I have a problem with or whatever... And somebody that I'm that I fuck with rocking with them, you know what I'm saying, you know, stay away from me or something, you know, something along them lines that he said. But you're not mad at self for working with Cisco and you and him are on the outs now. And you're not mad at self, you know, for working with Mariah Lynn. But you're mad with Cisco. I agree with everybody else. There has to be something more to that. So, anyways, moving on from that, because I don't care about Yandy. Uh, Kim Bella and Juju. I just, I really don't. We get PTA. Peter, Tara, and Amina. So, Amina says that, you know, they're still married and that he doesn't talk about, you know, getting the divorce off camera and everything. And, you know, uh, she's like, if he really wants Tara back, he should get a divorce. He, well, he should divorce me and stop doing all this stuff with me and this, that, and the third. And I'm just like, Every time I think Amina might have a little bit of sense. I'm going to get there in a minute. So anyways, um, you know, Tara says that, you know, Peter has these two girls that, you know, that he can't choose between and everything. Well, you know, and he goes to one when the other one isn't working out. I say, yeah, because y'all leave that option open for him. Y'all allow that. We can't, we can't even, we cannot continue to even blame people for, I mean, Blame Peter for this bullshit. This shit falls on y'all two now. Y'all two keep on leaving the door open for him to come the fuck back in. It fucked y'all world up. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, you know, Nina asks, you know, uh, Amina. No. She asks Tara first, you know, were her, are her and Peter still intimate? Tara says no. I saw that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, and then she asks Amina the same thing. And, you know, she's like, um, uh, Amina's like, you know, um, ask Peter and all this other stuff. And he like, uh, she asks you and everything. And they going back and forth or whatever. And Amina, she says yes and all this other stuff. Peter is like, you know, I'm single. And Tara, she don't want me back or whatever. And Tara was like, well, when I'm around him and I ask him, and I ask him, he says no. And, you know, Amina like, why are you lying? And, you know, Peter like, huh? Like, huh? You can hear, nigga. <laughs> so, anyways, um, Peter's like, you know, come on, Tara. Do you really want to hear that? And Tara was like, but no, I don't want to hear a lie either. And Peter's like, okay, well, we not together, so, you know, don't ask me that and everything. And, you know, Tara was like, okay, well, you ask me about shit too, and You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, uh, Nina asks, you know, do you want a relationship with anybody at this point? And he like, yeah, but I don't want something new and everything. And Amina is like, well, you love the both of us, so it's not going to be just, you know, one relationship and everything. And Peter is like, well, me and you live on opposite sides of the country and all this other stuff. And Amina is like, okay, is that going to stop you from fucking me or whatever when you come into town? And, you know, then Cardi, she interjects and she's like, look. He keeps saying he wants Tara. That's who he want to be with. And Amina, she not really trying to hear it. She trying to negate from, you know, what Cardi is saying. And saying, okay, well, he say something different off camera. If he can't say that he wants to be with you on camera. And he's telling you this shit off the camera. Like, if he's telling, if he's saying one thing on TV. And he's saying something different on camera. He don't know what the fuck he wants. And in all actuality, he probably do really want to be with Tara. I don't know because sometimes I kind of feel like he be with whoever is convenient for him at the moment. Whoever is going to be more vulnerable for him at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Or whoever is working out with at the moment. You know what I mean? But then sometimes I'm like, I'm like he probably do want to really be with Tara. But at the same time, it's like, I mean, come on. If you really want to be with somebody, you would get your shit together. And Peter has yet to get his shit together. Like, I... 
child. So anyways, um, so that's why I lean more to the side of he be with whoever is convenient for him at the moment versus oh straight up he really want to be with Tara. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, Cardi, she tells her like, look, I've been the side chick before. I've been where you've been and I'm glad that I stopped because, you know, um, this could have been me and some other bitch right now. Like how y'all two are on this stage and everything. This, that, and the third. I guess, you know, uh, Amina, I mean, not Amina, I guess Cardi didn't want to, you know, pop off on Peter again and get in his ass like she did uh, last last season's reunion where she was, you know, telling him about himself and everything, this, that, and the third, and, you know, then they kissed and made, you know, they kissed and made up or whatever, so I guess she don't want to get back on his bad side, so I guess that's why she ain't say shit to Peter this time around. But anyway, so, um, because, I mean, Cardi, she let, she went in on his ass last season's reunion but now i was mad that she apologized like for what he needed to hear that shit so anyways anyways let me get back to it so um nina she gonna have the audacity to sit up here and ask cisco do he have some relationship advice for peter can't nobody can't matter of fact can't no man on on that motherfucking cast Except for Pat Poos give some motherfucking advice to another man. All the rest of you motherfuckers, you can't give no motherfucking advice. Jewel, you kind of halfway there, but yeah, you know. We got to side eye you too a little bit. So anyways, speaking of Jewels, he gives his input. He thinks that, you know, Peter really wants to be with Tara, but see, um... It's like, you know, even if, uh... Peter wants to be with you and everything, you know what I'm saying, uh, it's not because he really wants to be with you, it's just because Tara don't really want him, for real, you know what I'm saying, or doesn't want him at the moment, and so Amina, she's sitting up here saying, uh, I'm sleeping with Peter because I want it, or whatever, not because he wanted it, and I'm just like, but you wouldn't be crying over him the way you do, and, okay, all right, all right, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it alone. So, anyways, you know, Tara says that. I mean, not Tara. Amina says that she wrote a book called The Other Woman, and you know, Tara said that she read some snippets of, of it or whatever, and she has some issues. And this is where they talk about. Uh, apparently, uh, it was some orgy situation going on the night before Peter, uh, Peter and Amina's wedding, and you know. Um, Tara is like, you know, well, if you get married or whatever and then come home to me by noon or whatever, while you sitting up here talking about orgies and all this other shit, I have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? And Tara is like, you know, I, you know, there's kids involved and everything and I still want them to be able to look up to their dad. You really think that they ain't going to have some type of perception of him once they get old enough to watch this motherfucking show? Or watch this show back. And even Peter was like, you know, they going to look back at this show and have some questions. So, finally, they look back at the season and everything. Cisco and Rich, they still going back and forth. I'm just like, y'all need to get over that shit. Um, and then Cardi, she apologizes to Asia and all this other stuff. Or what she put her through and everything. And I give you that, Cardi. At least you did that. But all that other shit, you just really need to cut the fuck out. Because it's not cool. You know what I'm saying? But um, anyways, that was Love and Hip Hop New York. Like I said, I'm glad we're done with this shit. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys come back. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.